And now I'm remembering all the joys of owning trucks. I forgot about this part, kinda. On the way home from uh, a job I did yesterday, uh, luckily on the way home, uh, this thing developed a really bad, uh, what I'm hoping is a fuel knock in the top end from like a sticking injector. It has in the past, uh, when in an idle or when I had the PTO running at that kind of slightly above idle RPM, uh, done kind of a little bit of a flutter, which I suspected was an injector, either dribbling or kind of starting to stick. But while driving home yesterday, all of a sudden it was fuel knock. So we are going to uh, get it fired up, warmed up, get my pickup thrown on the back of it, and we're going to take it up to the Cummins dealer in Redmond where they're going to pull it in, plug their fancy computers and stuff into it, and uh, see if they can figure out what's going on. So, up the hood goes. I like how softly this one closes. You don't even have to try to catch it or anything. I'll latch it down. You hear that kind of flutter? Yep, I would say uh, that's an injector. Dang it. All right, well, let's get this one fired up too. Are you gonna play nice today? Thank you. I can't handle both at once. Oh, wow. Yep, she needs some help. Wow. Oh yeah. Five cylinders. At least this works. The buttons aren't actually what they say they are. This says it's the winch button, but it lowers the bed. And the other problem is uh, when you hit the button to put the bed back up, the light on the receiver up there comes on. That This is working, but somewhere in the wiring between that light and the valves back here, it doesn't work. Everything else works though. Okay, that on there. So we're going to head up to the Cummins dealer, which is about 45 minutes away. Um, hopefully this thing makes it without uh, getting too much worse. If it starts to seem like it's getting uh, to the point of causing some problems and my temperatures start going funky, I'll, uh, I'll pull it over and uh, call consolidate it and have to call a tow truck for my tow truck. That would be not fun, but all part of the deal. So we're going to head up there, see how the trip goes, and see how quick they can get it fixed and what it's going to cost. Well, we made it. Uh, the knocking was kind of in the mid-range. If it was like cruising along off the throttle, no knock. If I was hammered full bore on the throttle, no knock. So uh, I just hammered on it up to like 65 and then just let off and cruised to idle to like 55 and then just repeated that the whole way here. Kept the knocking to a minimum and uh, all gauge of stuff seemed fine the whole way. There it is, all checked in and unloaded. Uh, they said they're gonna get it pulled in today and try to get a diagnosis on it and uh, let me know what the damage is. So now I think we are gonna head back down to Bend and uh, go to the UPS store, pick up the mail and the packages, and then uh, get back home and try to accomplish something today. 
after we get our packages, we can get some lunch too. Well, we got our packages and our lunch, and uh, I think I towed that Jeep out of somewhere. Yep, looks like you got a new clutch. So we're gonna head home and uh, look at all the projects I have to do and see which ones we can procrastinate on a little longer. So I'm back home and I figured out what I can do instead of being productive and getting some of these million projects done because I can show you what you may have already noticed earlier in the video, uh, what I recently purchased. I have been wanting a dump trailer for a very long time, like many, many years. And uh, I haven't bought one because they're expensive. So uh, this, uh, actually not this trailer, a whole nother trailer popped up for sale, a very used one for a good deal. Uh, up in Portland, on the other side of Portland, about three and a half hours away. And uh, I was going to go buy it. I'm going to get a dump trailer. It was smaller than this one, lighter capacity than this one, and very well used. So we set up a time to meet. The next morning I loaded up my wife and daughter in the pickup. And uh, we made the drive up there. We got about two and a half, three hours or so into the drive. Almost there. And the guy texts me and says, uh, hey, uh, I sold that trailer. And I'm like, dude, what the hell? Like... We set up a time to meet. I told you I was on the way this morning. You know how far I was driving from. And then you sold it right before I get there? So thanks for wasting my, my day and my time and fuel. So he says, oh, well, it's okay. I got another one. And uh, I said, same price? And he goes, no. So I said, well, then you can keep it. And he goes, well, I feel bad. I'll give you a deal. So since we were almost there, we kept driving. We show up and this is sitting in the driveway. I went up there to get a very well used 10 foot long, 10,000 pound rated uh, dump trailer. This here is a brand new 14 foot long, 14,000 pound rated dump trailer. Now the 14,000 pound capacity means the total gross weight of this entire vehicle can be 14,000 pounds. That's what it's rated for. So to figure out how much you can put in the bed, you subtract the trailer's weight from 14,000 and handy, they have it right here. You can put 9,770 pounds in the bed of this thing. So uh, just, just under five tons. So this is not like a brand new off the dealer lot trailer. Uh, I believe it's about two years old from when it was first sold. Uh, story goes, uh, a, an older guy had the one trailer that he used all the time. Uh, bought this one to upgrade to the bigger, heavier rated, nicer trailer. Um, then he got really sick, couldn't run either one. Uh, didn't have the energy or effort to go sell the other one. So they both sat in the driveway uh, a year or so later he ended up uh, passing away and now his son is uh, selling off all the stuff for the estate sale and uh, both the trailers were in that so i paid more for this than uh, i wanted to pay for a dump trailer but the deal i got on it i, I couldn't pass up because i'll never find one this nice and this new for that price again so we got a dump trailer. It has the built-in tarp. It has a 14 foot long, seven foot wide bed. It has the three-way tailgate that opens up barn door style to, to dump big stuff out the back or dump truck style with spreader chains here to spread gravel on a driveway. It also has these flip down little doors right here that has the loading ramps inside to load stuff into it. All LED lights, automatically adjusting brakes on both axles, spare tire, and a nice little pushy button to go up and down. So that you can see the stronger scissor hoist option instead of just the straight push ram. Actually, I don't know if the straight push ram is even an option on the 14,000 pound trailers, but I know on the 10,000, it had just a single ram that's there and there and just pushes up. This is far stronger. You see right here, these are the loading ramps that are stored in these brackets on the bottom side and then go out the back so you can put stuff in. It actually dumps like very, very steep. There's no problem getting anything out of that. So like I said, uh, not what I was expecting to buy, more money than I wanted to spend, but a deal I just couldn't pass up. This thing's gonna be very, very handy for the public lands cleanups that we do because we're always short on dump trailers. Uh, clean up around this property. I've got scrap metal and brush piles that I've created since we've been here. And then uh, the previous owners we bought the place from were kind enough to leave us plenty of piles of clutter and junk that now will be really easy to just load up and haul off uh, once I change the starter in my tractor. It'll also be handy for hauling in some more gravel for our driveway because it needs it all the way out to the road and uh, off around that way to the shop too. So I'm very happy to have that thing and uh, 
I got a lot of projects to do, but one of them that I really need to get done is I need to edit some videos because I've got six or seven videos of footage sitting on a hard drive uh, that I need to edit so that I can post them because I am running shy of videos that are already uploaded on YouTube ready to go. So with all the stuff I should be doing out here, I think I'm going to go inside and work on the computer. Boring, yes I know, but has to be done. I forgot the mail and uh, my lunch in the truck, so I'm going to walk back over and get that. Then go inside and work on the computer. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, hope you enjoyed watching me just ramble my way through the day. And uh, I'll see you next time. Hopefully back to some more recoveries. And uh, with a big truck that doesn't have an expensive bill behind it. We'll see how that goes.